Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be trying out a new game called Arctico. Explore Arctico with your dog sled team, kayak, and parachute. Build and customize your base camp, gather resources, take care of your experiments in this peaceful island. Okay, um, it is on Steam. It is normally $10, but it will be on sale for $9 till February 22nd. Um, I've been playing it for a little while. It seems pretty cool, so we're going to get started. And slot number one, are you sure you want to delete your progress? Yes. So you can name your dogs. Um, I, I kind of like the names. I was going to name them after, like, you know, people. But so let's just stick with what we got here. All right. We need to pick our flag color. I kind of like that one right there. That's pretty good. Um, we will pick our character. Uh, hair color. We'll go with black. Why not? Sounds good. I've always wanted dark hair. I'm blonde. I've always wanted dark hair, though. All right, so the whole idea here is um, you're like some scientist got lost or something and you need to find all his research or some such things. Um, dear Camilla, Camilla? Yeah. Uh, we're very sorry about your mentor's passing. Uh, yeah, so scientist, inventory accomplished, blah, blah, blah. You can read all that. I've already read it all. And the basic idea is you need to find their research. Okay. Pretty cool looking, uh, you know, ship, you know, floating through the water here with the... In the back, it's pretty nice. I like that. Uh, we will go with the uh, tutorial for the start of the expedition. I always appreciate tutorials in the beginning of these uh, survival games. Um, so, and the tutorial on this one's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if it goes far enough because it kind of stopped while I was playing and I had to kind of figure stuff out. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. They do have a nice little help icon thing here that I'm going to show you in a second. All right. Um, yep, got all that. Okay. This little help icon. Where's my mouse pointer? I don't know where my mouse pointer is. Mouse scroll. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, if you ever need any real help, you can come here and it tells you all about um, everything you need to know. All right. And here we are. Okay. Welcome to Arctico. Uh, this short instruction will teach you everything you know in order to follow, uh, in order to lead a successful expedition. Uh, the most important things are energy, hardware, and data. Got it. Got it. All right. So I, it's, what it's going to ask me to do is um, uh, build some solar panels. Uh, first, we'll have to get energy. Solar panels, you know, gets you energy. So if I press Q to bring this up, all right, and then I need to go to uh, open your inventory, build menu, place a couple of solar panels. There we go. And they kind of like angle themselves towards the um, towards the sun. And I'm not sure how close they they should be or whatever. But wait, what the hell is that? I didn't want to do that. Uh, solar panels. I, I'm not sure if it matters how close they are to each other. I don't think it does. Because they seem to be, like you see over here, right here, the sun would technically be blocking this one. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter. It seems to get as much sun as it needs to, uh, which is awesome. The way you get around, by the way, is a uh, dog sled team, which is freaking phenomenal. I love that. They're so adorable. Dogs are the best. All right. And we're going to come over here and you got to grab the um, power by hand. Now, I don't know if there's a way to get power automatically later. I kind of hope there is. I don't want to be grabbing power by hand, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we will need power for some stuff. What's next? Okay, uh, we need to we need to um, get ores, and ores are uh, will produce hardware for us. Hardware, yeah, we've got a hardware welder. Take the ores, and it produces hardware. So we need to go find the spots nearby, right here. You see these little drill spots, and with the mouse wheel, you can change what item you have. And I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to drill all these out. All right, there we go. Pick up the ore. Don't forget to pick up the ore because it is not going in your inventory automatically. So, there we go. A couple more here. And this thing's cool because if there's no ore in the area, it'll, like, kind of give you a direction where there is ore. Uh, and I think, like, eventually you'll be, like, growing crops and then selling crops to buy hardware. So you won't have to do this ore crap forever, I think. I don't really know. I, I didn't get that far, but... All right, there we go. Yep, beautiful. Is that all of it? Why isn't the thing changing? Or whatever. Oh, it is. It says, uh, go find the, the welder. Yep. So here's the hardware welder. And we will weld up some hardware. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if you can actually get out of this window. I don't think you can. I think you have to sit there. So we have 0.5 grams left. So we'll do the 0.5 grams just to kind of finish it up. And it is done. And we now have 440 hardware, 34 power, and no ore. All right, now I know how to produce energy and hardware. The next on the list is data. All right, to collect data, you need samples. If you open your inventory menu, press Q, you'll notice 
How many samples do you have by looking at the far? Okay, so we have our samples right here. Okay, beautiful. Uh, close your inventory. Use the samples interacting with the lab inside your base for some data. Okay. Uh, missing power. Okay. We need some more power. So come over here and grab that and that. And that should be... Yep, just enough power. Keep pressing escape to get out of the menu. That's not going to work. <laughs> All right, so come over here and we will get some uh, data. So it's gonna do its data thing. Data is of great value. The data you collect can be uh, compensated by using the trading terminals inside your base. And you can use that money to upgrade structures and equipment. Wait for the process to complete, retrieve the data from your lab and, to, and you can interact with it. Um, I don't know if data is used for anything but just to sell. This is saying just sell it. So I thought data might've been used for something else, but uh, I don't know if it is. I, Input data, produce simulations, get more data the next day. Oh, okay. That's interesting. All right. So this thing is done now. So we'll check the screen. And look at this. we got like microbes and, and whatnot. All right. So what we do is we look up here. We collect the data. Another critical thing to remember is to feed your dogs. Get close to any of your dogs and interact with them. You can feed them by clicking over the fish icon. Okay. Um, I don't really want to do this because they're not really that hungry. But I guess, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Linda's eating. I like the names for the dogs. Zeus, Bruno, Max, and Linda. It's good names for dogs. I like that. Okay. Now we have to head to the kitchen and make some more food. All right. Cook. Fish. We need power, of course. Let's go out here and grab some more power. That'll be enough. Come over here and we cook some fish. There we go. And do I have to pick up the fish once it's done? Let's see. No, I don't. Now that your fish is properly cooked, open your inventory menu. I wonder if the fish I fed the dogs was um was raw. And I wonder if you need to cook the food for the dogs. Or if maybe you'll get more out of it if you cook it first. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, so we need to find the food selection thingy. And that's right there. All right, and then this is this is the raw fish. This is the cooked fish. We've also got water, stew, mushrooms, and bread. So we're gonna go ahead and cook and eat the fish. There we go. Now we're stuffed. I'm gonna grab some water out of here. By the way, this is an automatic water generator. Water wouldn't be a problem here, obviously, because you know, it gets snow everywhere and everything. To get more fish, you, you need to use your map. Open your inventory and click on the icon below to access your map. Okay, there's the map. Once you're in your map, you can use WASD to move around. Correct. Uh, find a fishing spot. You can put a, a marker on it. So I, I went south last time. I think I'm going to go north this time. So we're just going to put that right there. And once you get out of here, what you can do is you can mouse wheel over, I guess, your compass. And your compass will show you the direction of your marker. Right? That's correct, right? I'm pretty sure that's correct. Are we facing north? Yes, we are. Okay, great. Also, you can get on your dog sled and uh, deal with them. Uh, indicators, blah, blah, blah. Go on your sled. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this away. Going to get on the sled. All right. And now if you press Q on the sled, it shows the arrow, which is behind me. Uh, the dogs turn with... Uh, well, they go forward and back, obviously, with a W and S. But they turn... See, this, this marker is a little... This marker is a little bit too triangular. Sometimes it looks like it's pointing in a different direction. But, yeah, I think this is the right direction. All right, so we're going to go to the right here to avoid the um, the water. If you go into the water, everybody dies and you, and you get you get sent back to your base. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to say something. That, oh, yeah. Um, so W and S move you know forward and back with the dogs. And you actually turn with the uh, with A and D. Uh, you turn with the keypad. Um, you know, because a lot of these games, some of these games you'll turn with one thing. And, you know, other games you'll turn with another. I'm going in the wrong direction here. All right, so let's just kind of go around here. Uh, can we go up hills? I've never done that yet. All right. Oh, what's over there? All right, let's stay focused. Let's get some fish. The fishing in this game is pretty dope, um, but it's also a little bit challenging. Like, it doesn't tell you how to do it. Like, um, you we'll get to the fishing spot, and then it'll be a little bobber out there, like, marking the fish. All right? But the problem is um, it doesn't tell you how to get out there. So the, what I was doing was in my test game, I was uh, I was on my dog sled and I, I just ran him into the water to see what would happen. And then I said, oh, you died, basically. Go back to base, right? So you start back at base. And I was like, oh, okay, so I can't go in the water with the dogs. But you can go in the water with your character. 
because you have a kayak. But I, I didn't realize that, or I didn't put two and two together. All right, so slow down, and we'll turn this way. Kind of turn around so when we head back. All right, get off this thing. I don't have to bring the kayak with me. All you have to do is walk out into the water, and you will be on a kayak. See, I, I, when I was doing my test game, I was like, how the hell do I get out there? And there we go. Press shift to auto sail, space to change camera. Oh, I didn't know about changing camera. That's cool. Um, Q to show your GPS. Okay, sounds good. Uh, yeah, I like that camera best. All right, let's come out here. This marks where the fishies are. All right, and you press um, E to start fishing. And as soon as you catch, as soon as you catch a fish, there'll be a little mini game where you just spam E. And as long as you hit E fast enough, uh, you'll catch the fish. So any second now, I will catch a fish. And then you just E E. See, I can wait a little bit. E E E. And as long as you get that filled before the fish, uh, before the fish gets their bar filled, you catch the fish. So let's do another one here. All right, come on. Come on, bro. I ain't got all day. Hungry. My dog's got to eat. Actually, I should probably sit out here for a little bit and catch a, a decent amount of fish. Because, um, yeah, I, I, not only have to, I not only have my stomach to worry about, I have my dog's stomach to worry about. So I wonder how many fish you can hold. You, you must have some kind of, like, limit on how many you can hold. So I'm going to catch a total of 10. Uh, you can only hold 10 water. So I'm wondering if you can only hold 10 fish. So I'm going to catch at least 10 fish here. So one time I was fishing, I caught three fish. So it's not always two fish, but it was two fish most of the time. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so I got 16 fish there. So that's great that I could carry more than 10. That is awesome. Uh, we could get back on our sled and go back home. All right. Or I don't know if you need to do this from the sled. Yeah, we can't, we can't access the map from the sled. All right, so you get off the sled. You access the map. And fast travel. Fast travel back to base. So I don't know if you could fast travel from everywhere back to base. You, if you could fast travel anywhere else, I don't know. I just know from this fishing spot, I can fast travel back to base. And that is awesome. Okay, how are our dogs doing? Ah, uh, you guys are okay. You guys are a-okay. All right, so what do I want to do next? Do I want to cook the fish? Yeah, let's cook some fish. Why not? Oh, because I need more power. You know what? We should probably make some more solar panels. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to line these up as best I can. No. All right, they're not going to be lined up that well, but whatever. How much do they take? A hundred. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Let's grab some power out of these. I think they can only hold 20 power, so... Got to keep that in mind. Faux show. All right, so I think the next... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next, uh, because the, the tutorial ends here. So let's go to help. How about um, seeds? Adding farm. Okay, so let me see if I can make some farm plots. Um, farm plots. So that's a mass fabricator. Fabricator used deploy tools and decorations. Um, explore the map to unlock more objects. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything about farms. Ooh, do you have to like unlock farms? But, oh, potato incubator. Uh oh, hold on. This plant will produce seeds if properly watered. Okay. Oh, okay. So, no, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right. So, we'll just put these out here, I guess. Um, when your plants... What are your... When? What are your plants to get seeds? Press E. Um, you can sell them by holding a seed trade in the trading terminal icon below. Or cook a great stew by mixing seeds and potatoes. Okay. How much did that cost to put down? Ooh, 150 power. No, 150. Ooh, we need to find more ore. Okay. All right. Let's water this. There we go. How much water did that take? Just one? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Again, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with uh, data, so I guess I'm just going to sell it. Oh, I need two. Oh, you got to sell two gigabytes. I only have one. Um, well, I could do another one. Uh, missing sample. Not. Wait, missing sample. What was the other thing? Oh, I need power. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have 50 power, do I? Nope. All right, I'll have 50 power shortly. There we go. Maybe I can hook up a battery to them or something so I could save more. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look into that. All right. Study sample. Okay. And that'll get us some more money. And I think while we're waiting for that stuff, I will see if I can find some more ore. I, I can't use this on the dog sled thing, so I guess I'll just run out here. Oh, it's going to take a while. 
yeah, that's gonna take a while. Maybe I, maybe I should take the dog sleds out there. I could just like point in the direction and then go out there. We should definitely do some exploring too. Okay, yeah, let's grab the dog. So we gotta head that way, which is doesn't say. I'm guessing. I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll just head in that general direction. And then what I'll do is I'll like uh, when I've gone a decent amount. How long does this take? This is some when I've gone a decent amount of space. I'll just get off my dogs and, and check again. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about how long that takes. All right, come on, come on, dogs, let's go. All right, so we do have to go around the water, which kind of blows, but it is what it is. I keep holding down shift to go faster, but it doesn't go any faster with the dogs. You just gotta, you know, it, it just it's just an auto run feature basically. All right, so I wonder if I'll see the mining nodes from the uh, from the dog sled. Probably not. Well, maybe. I don't know. That's a good question. There's definitely a lot of things out here to explore as well. Which is pretty cool. So I think once I get around this little lake right here, this little mini pond or whatever, I'll get off and take another reading. All right. That's good enough. All right. Let's take a look. All right. So we need to go that way. All right, put that away. By the way, in case you're wondering how to save the game, uh, I I didn't t I didn't tell you anywhere in the game that I could find. Um, so I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, you simply sleep. There's bunk beds back at your base, and you just sleep there. I don't know if passing night like does anything. Like I don't know if your dogs or whatever get hungrier, if you get hungrier or what. But um, plants grow. I don't know. I do know though, it is a way to save the game. All right, we'll just go to whatever those things are. That might be the. Oh, what is this? All right, let's check this place out. This might be where the um, where the nodes are anyway. Interesting spot. We might have passed the nodes. I, I went pretty. Oh no, there they are, and you can see them from the sled. Cool. That is really nice. So I don't think these nodes respawn. So I think the idea is this is to get you through the beginning of the game, and then you could basically um, you know, grow crops and sell them. Oh, that's a fishing hole. Hold on. I didn't even see that far away. Oh, it is. And, um... It's not that far away. Wow, it's actually really close. That's, a, that's the closest fishing hole. Damn it, Cage. <laughs> Alright, well, it is what it is. I didn't see it out there. So, yeah, I think the idea is you're supposed to be, like, growing, like, you know, growing plants or whatever and, um, selling stuff that way. So, there we go... I'm not really sure how to get science. I know it told you how to get science, but I don't remember how. Like, how to get the actual, um, this thing right here. I don't remember. Uh, oh, you need energy for this. Oh! Oh, pretty sneaky, sis. Alright, fair enough. Let's go over here. and I mean, it makes sense. What is that? New objects. Oh. Oh, those are bags of seeds and stuff, I guess. Wow, that's a lot. Damn. You get seeds back when you when you pick these plants, right? I'm pretty sure you do. I can't. Oh, here we go. The wind is always uh, leading me back to you, to our nights of stargazing, while you whisper the sweetest little things. It never ceases to amaze me how skillful you are. The arts of happiness, of love giving. You are my best friend. You forever healed me. So is this from my colleague? My Like, this sounds... This doesn't sound... Like, I imagine this is, like, a younger woman, and this guy's, like, an old scientist. And I thought they were, like, colleagues. I mean, this seems pretty, uh... <laughs> pretty racy. So, I don't know. Do I take it, or... I don't know if that means anything, reading that. All right. So... It's weird that I can't take it. I guess it doesn't really matter. Is there anything else over here? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any kind of crouch button or anything. Okay. Alright, well, let's get back to base. I wonder if it costs anything to fast travel back to base. It doesn't, it doesn't say it does. So, I'm assuming it's free. We are back here at base, and I'm going to go ahead and sleep, just to show you. It's going to show, like, the outside. Um, my solar panels are not getting anything because it's not daytime. I think I need to put down some wind turbines. I just don't know when. Should I put them down now? Or should I wait? I'm not really sure. Uh, so let's just kind of see what's going on now with our hunger because we slept through the night. Man, it barely went down. 
Yeah, the, oh, the dog's hunger went down pretty good. All right. I think another thing I want to do is I want to... I'm looking at a lot of these things to craft. Um, a glider launcher sounds pretty dope, but way out of my price range. Heating facility, upgraded, f upgradable facility um, can place... I'll make all of these. I just don't really... They don't, none of them really sound all that useful, except for this right here. The sled garage. Um, that's for my dogs during the night. Um, I really like that. So I think what I'm going to do, though, is... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put down a wind turbine right here. But I need um, 250 for that. So I'm going to take these... I'm going to collect this data. And then I'm going to sell data. There we go. All right. And then I should have a lot of money now. Uh, six around well, six thousand. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy hardware. Uh, six hundred for five k. Oh my god. Well, I don't. I don't know what else I would buy. Like honestly, so I might as well just buy that. Do I need to, like I can't buy any. I gotta wait to get six, five. Like I can't do anything. I gotta wait to get five thousand. It's crazy. Uh, how much is for fish? Twenty for one k. That's not too bad. And I, again, I don't know how to get the stuff for the data, so I can't. And I think, I think those are all the things I can sell right now. Something about selling seeds, but my thing's not done yet. Oh, collect. There we go. All right. So do I just get seeds for that, uh, or do I get the actual plants? Let's see if we can make, make the stew. It said something about making stew. Oh, so we need bread for the stew as well. Okay, I see. All right, so I'm supposed to put the seeds in my hand or something. Are these seeds or are these... Okay, in order to sell the seeds, I need to make the seed trading terminal. All right, so I think that's going to be my next thing for sure. Um, these ores by my base did respawn. I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised about that. Very happily surprised. And I'm also getting two ores per, per dig now, which is really nice. I think it took like a day for these to respawn, so that's pretty dope. All right, and it takes five power uh, per ore digging up thing <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and grab the power out of here i know it's only four but that's okay this thing is still doing its thing and come over here and we are going to there we go we need more resources wait is it power yes yeah, power damn you need a lot of power for that uh <laughs> yeah uh should I... didn't i buy her yeah i did buy hardware you know what let's make some wind turbines uh um it, it doesn't say how much power you get for these things though um solar panel it doesn't say so oh what's zero of one? Oh crap whatever zero of one is down here uh, blueprint oh i can't make it can i oh son of a bitch all right well there you go we're, we're gonna first thing next video we're gonna do we're gonna explore we're gonna explore like a maniac um what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to put a grid down Okay, and I guess I'll just put it like, um, I don't know, right there seems good. And then what that'll let us do, I think we can move this. Yep, and it'll snap into the grid. This is something that amazes me. What the hell? Can't move it. There we go. This is something that amazes me, and all survival games need to do this. Have grids so stuff can snap the grids. This makes me so unbelievably happy you don't even know. Like, <laughs> if it's for real. Um... All right, so can they snap to other grids? Oh my God, they can. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, where am I going to want to put the crops? I'm going to put the crops over here because it's by water. I know it doesn't really matter, but it seems pretty cool to me. And then we will put those over there and I will work on getting more. Uh, I guess I got. we will hopefully find the wind turbine thing next video, but I'm going to just put up a ton of, of solar panels for now because it's all I have. And uh, like I said, first thing next episode, we're going to do a lot of exploring. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's not going. Oh, there it goes. All right, should we just do a whole? Yeah, let's just do a whole thing about the hell with it. Okay, there we go. So let's grab some power, and then how much power do we need for the other thing? Seventy. We've got it. All right, so we've got one. I don't know what you call it. Let's call this a solar array. That's our first solar array, and weld. Okay, and then um, I don't think we have enough to do the next part of it. Nope, we only got point, point 0.4. All right, so we've got 540 now. So uh, what do we need, like 750 for the dog for the dog house? The sled garage? Oh, 2400. Okay, we're not going to be there anytime soon. Uh, I thought I didn't think it was um, <laughs> 2400. Holy crap. 
Oh, this was 700. That's right. We want to do the seed trading terminal. That's right. Okay. Okay. So we need a little bit more money. So um, I think we're just going to go look for some more uh, stuff to dig up. Um, yeah, let's just go to our other spot. I should probably mark it as like a ore, an ore spot when I get out there. So this ore field is respawned too. These guys have got to be really, yeah. Okay, let's give these guys some food. Uh, nah, let's give them raw food. Uh, let's give them, yep, the cooked food does give more, but they don't really need it though, unless they're really, really hungry. And I can pet them too. There you go, buddy. Aw, what a good girl. All right, so let's go ahead and dig these up. Hopefully we'll get two each time. Oh, I forgot to bring out power. Shoot, I keep forgetting about that. I'd really like to be able to carry batteries around. Um, I've only got 22 power. Ah, uh, it sucks. I don't think that's going to be enough. It might be. It might be. I'm not really sure, though. Damn it. I didn't I didn't think about it. That was a mistake. I, you know, I have to have power while I'm out here. Uh, so that's 12. So I can dig up two more. Actually, it's not that bad. It's only one less than... Like, I could have only dug up, like, one more if I had the power. So it's not... It's not terrible, but it's, it's also not ideal. And that should be the last one. Yep. Two power left. Oh, uh, see, I could have dug up two more. That's a damn shame. All right, let's get back to base. So if you have the food, you could just sleep through the night. Um, <laughs> the dogs and your hunger does go down during the night, but you could sleep at any point and skip the day or whatever and then just get more nodes out there. But it does cost food, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, I do have everything I need, though, so let's uh, come over here and grab the rest of the electricity. And then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a... Um, Seed terminal, if I have room for it. Maybe I don't have room for it. Maybe that's why I need to make other domes. Um, well, it seems okay. I guess I can't put it outside, right? Wait, can I put it outside? I'd prefer not to put it outside. Let's just put it right here. Uh, right mouse button cancel. Can you not rotate it? Yeah, I can rotate it by moving around. All right, there we go. And now we can sell seeds. 25 for... So Whoa! That's pretty good. That's not bad. Um... We have 59. So the, basically the idea is the seeds and the plants are the same thing. I was like, well, here's the plants, but where's the seeds? No, it's either a plant or a seed. Um, I guess, or maybe it's just, maybe it's just seeds and you use the seeds to make the stew. But I think the plants are kind of like, you know, both kind of. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's see if this one's done. Ooh, what do we got out here? I forgot to water it, by the way. Oh, there we go. Uh, 60. So was that? Six? Just... I, I didn't see how many I had before I picked it up. All right, before we sell any, let's go ahead and place some more of these down. These are supposed to be, like, the best for whatever. So, there we go. What did it cost? I didn't even look. Um, oh, okay, so it costs four seeds and 150. I don't have any more to make another one, so <clears throat> you got to make sure you water them, though. There we go, because I, I forget to water them. And to get water, you have that automatic water generator, but it's not free. It costs power. Not a lot of power. I think like five, but it, it does cost power. All right. So um, I'm going to sell some seeds. 25. We have uh, 62. Sure. $700, man. That, that's... Oof. Is that the only kind of seeds you could sell, though? Uh, I'm guessing those are the only kind of seeds you can sell. Today's seeds and potatoes have a normal selling price. Oh, I didn't know there'd be different selling prices. Okay. I don't know what these are over here. It's just decoration or not. I, I don't know. Okay, so now we have 700. What do we need? 600 for, uh, for 5K. So we're up to 1,700. So that's pretty cool. I do think I'm going to call this one here, guys. The game seems pretty cool. And uh, I will be doing uh, another video right away. So if you guys give me any tips or anything in the comments, just know that um, I haven't seen them yet. So if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.